Hello, and welcome back to On Point HQ. Um, now, if you've seen any of my, my previous videos, you may very well have seen updates into the Australian Army uh, for bolt action that I've been working through for what, what feels like months now. Um, well, I finally finished the, the 1,000 points uh, list that I was working on and thought I would do a, a, a short video um, just to show you the completed project in its entirety. Uh, I'm going to throw up some pictures of the individual units and then provide a, a short summary of the army composition and how it's made up after that. So, without further ado, onto the completed army. From a gamer perspective, the, the list itself comes in at 995 points in total, and is comprised of 10 order dice. The list is based on the 1943 to 1945 uh, Australian Jungle Division Theatre Selector from the New Guinea campaign book. Most of this army was picked up during a trip to Warlord HQ in Nottingham last year, and I, I pretty much picked up one of each item that was available at the time, rather than go with any kind of specific list or build uh, in mind. Now, I'm yet to use this in a game of bolt action, so once I get a few games under my belt, I can see the list being changed based on how they play. Um, so it's looking very, very vanilla uh, at the moment. Um, the list itself is predominantly made up of veteran units, with the only regulars being the, the mortar team with the spotter and the Matilda. Uh, the rest of the, the list is made up of a, a veteran HQ unit, which is a first lieutenant uh, with his assistant. For the infantry, infantry sections, I have a Jungle Division Infantry section, an Independent Commando section, a Papawan Infantry section, and a Jungle Engineer section. And all are eight-man and veteran, except for the Engineers, um, which, has a, which is a five-man squad. 
Uh, now the engineer section was cobbled together from three different sets and it contains a flamethrower. Just because I love flamethrowers in bolt action, they're a bit evil. Um, I, I use them all the time in my uh, US Marine Army, um, so the chance to use them in my Australians, um, I wasn't going to wasn't going to pass that opportunity up in the slightest. Uh, for support, I have a medium machine gun, a uh, medium mortar, and a veteran sniper team. And lastly, for a bit of heavy support, I've got a short 25 pounder and a Matilda. Um, still unpainted, I have a scout team, a, a section of Australian militia, and a, the really awesome medic model with the Papo and Stretcher bearers. That's a fantastic model, I'm really looking forward to where uh, to start in that. Uh, and the aim is to increase the list to 1,250 points where I can. Now, I've mentioned this in previous videos. Um, but the Australian range from Warlord Games is absolutely fantastic and uh, has been an absolute joy uh, to build and paint. Now it's an old metal range which I, I tend to shy away from as I really love plastic kits for, for kit bashing and conversions and really bringing kind of a personal and unique touch um, to my armies. But this being an old metal army has, has not detracted from what has been a thoroughly enjoyable kit um, or project to complete. Now I'm hoping to get these into battle against Ian's Imperial Japanese very soon uh, and we'll be, we'll be actually filming that for the next battle report. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and the completed 1000 points of Australians. Uh, as always, take care, uh, may your dice roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.